Single Speed ECM for Energy Saver 1500 and Stealth Pro 1.5 models. This wiring video will show you how to wire an Energy Saver 1500 or Stealth Pro 1.5 model. For this installation, you will need the following items. A Phillips and flat blade screwdriver, wire cutters, wire strippers, two wire Romex, and an eight hour timer. Important, wiring diagrams are for examples only. Wiring should be done by a licensed electrician following local building and electrical codes and or NEC guidelines. If you are installing this fan unit in new construction, please note that if use of arc fault breakers are 100% implemented in the home, or if the fan is being installed in a wet area such as a bathroom, you may be required to wire a dedicated circuit for the fan. Note that the fan came pre-wired to a power cord for testing purposes before installation. If you would like to hardwire the fan, or if it is required by local building codes, please follow the wiring instructions in this video. Let's begin at the motor head and remove the power cord from the fan. First, remove the junction box cover. With the junction box cover removed, remove each wire nut and separate the wires. Remove the ground wire of the power cord by unscrewing the ground screw. Once removed, reinstall the ground screw and the motor ground wire in the junction box. Remove the power cord by removing the power cord strain relief connector in the back of the junction box. If the connector is difficult to remove, you may need to use a pair of pliers. Using the Romex connector that was included inside the junction box, install into the same junction box hole that the power cord strain relief connector was installed in. Push the two wire Romex through the Romex connector. Cut the sheathing off the Romex. Using wire cutters, cut the ground wire in half. This will allow you to ground the motor and wall switch to the junction box in the fan. Now strip both sides of the ground wire. Using a wire nut, tie the two ground wires together with the bare copper wire. Strip the black and white wires from the Romex. Tie the white wires together. Tie the black striped wire from the motor and the black wire from the Romex together. Make sure all wire nuts are tight and secure. Once complete, reinstall the junction box cover. Now let's move to the wall switch. After running the two wire power source Romex and the two wire timer Romex from the fan head into the single gang wall box, cut the sheathing off.
cut the bare copper ground wires to the appropriate length and using a wire nut, tie the green ground wire from the timer to the two bare copper wires. Cut the white wires to the appropriate length, strip them, and using a wire nut, tie all the white wires together. Cut the black wire from the power source Romex to the appropriate length and strip the wire. Using a wire nut, tie the black wire from the timer to the black wire from the power source Romex. Cut the black wire from the timer Romex to the appropriate length and strip the wire. Using a wire nut, tie the black wire from the timer Romex to the red wire from the timer. Make sure all wire nuts are tight and secure. Now that the wiring is complete, carefully push the wires into the wall box and install the timer using the included mounting screws. Using the included wall plate screws, install the QuietCool wall plate. Now that the install is complete, turn the power on at the electrical panel. Operating the timer is very simple. Pressing the button on the front of the timer will set the fan to an hour. Pressing the button a second time will move to two hours. Pressing the button a third time will move to four hours. Pressing the button a fourth time will move to eight hours. Holding the button will put the fan into an indefinite hold and the fan will run until you turn it off. To turn off the fan in any setting, simply cycle through the time settings until the lights turn off.